Whoa, okay, AI world, you win. <laughs> this past week has been nuts. Mm -hmm. Like a fire hose of funding news, yeah, yeah. crazy talent grabs, and AI doing everything from nabbing scammers to, you know, maybe even like whipping up life-saving drugs. Yeah, no kidding. It's the speed of it all that gets me. Not just like, oh, AI is getting a little better. It's full-on reshaping everything everywhere all at once. Right. So where do we even start with this? I mean, OpenAI raked oh. in $6.6 6 billion in funding, <laughs> valuing them at, I don't even know. $157 billion. Around $157 billion. Bigger than some countries. It's wild, right? But it shows you the level of confidence investors have in them. They're basically saying, we think you're going to crack AGI, and when you do, it's going to be huge. Okay, so for anyone who didn't just mainline their morning coffee with a side of AI news, what's AGI again? Artificial general intelligence. It's not just AI that can, you know, follow instructions or write you a poem. This is AI that can learn and solve problems like a human. So like an AI coworker who can not only crunch numbers, but also come up with ideas and maybe make a decent cup of coffee. Well, maybe not the coffee part yet, but yeah. That's the potential we're talking about. Okay, see, that's what I mean by mind blowing. Okay, but before we get ahead of ourselves, we got to talk about this whole AI talent war that's going on. Yeah. Like Google basically raided character.ai, right? Sure, pretty much. They poached some of their top people, which basically forced character.ai to pump the brakes on their own language model plans. So what does that tell us? You know, for our listeners out there, lots of whom are, you know, professionals in their own fields, not necessarily like coding up the next big AI. It tells me if you're looking for the hottest skill set to future-proof your career, AI is it. Companies are tripping over themselves to hire anyone who even looks like they understand an algorithm. So yeah, if you've been thinking about upskilling, now's the time to dive into that AI deep end. Okay, point taken. So let's shift gears for a sec from all this, you know, big picture stuff to something a little more down to earth, like Meta's got this new AI system, Fiery, and it's already out there busting online scams like crazy. They're saying something like 17,000 scam pages taken down since April. 17,000. That's amazing. It is. And it highlights how important AI is becoming in cybersecurity. It's not just a tech issue. It affects everyone. Fire can analyze data in real time, spotting those scams that humans might miss. Although, does it feel a little like we're on the edge of an AI arms race? You know, AI gets better at catching scammers. Scammers use AI to get sneakier back and forth. Oh, for sure. That's a valid concern. It's why constant innovation in cybersecurity is key. It's not enough to just play catch up. You got to build systems that are ahead of the curve, right? Right. Stay ahead of those AI supervillains or whatever. Okay. Oh. But it's not all doom and gloom, right? While Meta's battling bad guys, DeepMind's partnering up with BioNTech to create these AI lab assistants. Like, imagine AI helping design experiments, running simulations even, like predicting how effective new drugs might be. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it could have revolutionized drug discovery and, you know, scientific research in general. Okay, last but not least, we got to talk about Amazon. Apparently they were, like, a little spooked about the security risks of other platforms. You mean like chat GPT and such? Exactly. So what they do? Built their own AI chatbot, of course. Cedric? Makes sense though, right? Especially for a company like Amazon that's got so much sensitive data, they want more control, more security. And hey, maybe Cedric's got a better sense of humor than some of those other chatbots out there, you know? Yeah, maybe Cedric can tell us a joke after we wrap up this deep dive. Yeah. But seriously, we've gone from billion dollar deals to AI scientists to in-house chatbots. It's incredible how fast this tech is moving. And don't forget, this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. The future of AI, it's not just about what it can do, but how we use it, right? The ethics, the responsibility, making sure it benefits everyone, not just a select few. Right, yeah. right, because the future isn't just happening to us. It's being built right now by all the choices we're making. And, you know, maybe that's something for everyone listening to think about, not just the tech people. What kind of future do we want? And how can we use AI to get there? Big questions. Biggest. All right, that's a wrap on today's Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the ever-evolving world of AI. Until next time.